Hey folks, it's Antar, and I've got a new battle for you with my uh, James Pass. That's my UU singles team. Uh, I'm really eager for someone to challenge me to a battle using it um, because I have, you know, I have only used it against a computer in six on six, and I'm really curious to see how my strategies work out in full six on six battle. Anyway, I start with Glaceon. I love Glaceon. I use it every chance I get. Can you tell? Um, anyway. Um, Glaceon is faster than Hippowdon and delivers a super effective Ice Beam, uh, and Hippowdon uh, hangs on with Focus Sash. Uh, Hippowdon manages to get off an Earthquake, which does not take out Kyoko, that's my nickname for Glaceon, um, and so I'm going to take it out on the next turn, uh, assuming he doesn't switch. Um, but so uh, that Hippowdon did what it was meant to do, um, it, set up the, it set up the sand, and um, did some amount of damage, although it didn't, del uh, it didn't deliver the KO. Um, so Glaceon uses Ice Beam and Hippowdon goes down. Um, and now uh, I edited out the selection screen, um, so you didn't get a chance to see, but this guy has a Garchomp on his pass, so I'm expecting it to come out at any point. And so when he sends out Metagross, rather than letting um, Glaceon act as Death Fodder, I switch it out because I know that that, uh, Gar that most likely that Garchomp is coming and it'll be, uh, and without uh, Glaceon, I'm not going to be able to take it on. Anyway, uh, Metagross uses Meteor Mash, which w most certainly would have KO'd um, Kyoko, uh, and Metagross gets the attack boost from Meteor Mash, so this isn't going well for me. Luckily, Steelix has a lot, a lot of defense. Um, uh, but even so, uh, Earthquake does a huge amount of damage and brings me down to uh, almost no HP. Uh, Steelix does manage to get off an Earthquake, which is nice, and I get really lucky and get a critical hit, which takes out Metagross. Um, and so uh, I'm doing fairly well in this match, a lot better than I should be, I guess, um, considering you know he's using uh, Pokemon from a tier above. Uh, anyway. Um, I now get to show you the second part of my strategy since Steelix is down to less than uh, one quarter HP. Um, he's got a Custap Berry, which allows him to move first when he gets down that low. So he manages to get off one last explosion, uh, even though Garchomp would most certainly have outrun it. Um, Garchomp hangs on with Focus Sash. Um, so I, I guess I, was, I wasn't really expecting that. I was expecting a Yachi Berry. Um, but... Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, all I need is for one of my next attacks to take it out. Um, and Blastoise, I decide, uh, I don't know whether um, Glaceon can outrun it, so I decide um, Blastoise is much bulkier and it has a much higher chance of getting an attack down. But the Sandstorm is going, so I'm really worried about a miss. Um, luckily, I, um, I hit the Garchomp. Garchomp goes down. And I win the match, uh, three KOs to one KO, and that KO is a self KO. So a pretty impressive victory for me. Um, but I really, am, I really want to see what's what happens when I take this on, uh, take this team in a full six on six match. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and please challenge.